Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video, and this one is gonna be very exciting because we got a whole bunch of crazy details about the upcoming FNAF movie. I've been meaning to make this video for quite a while now, you may remember last month in December on Daco's charity stream, we got a whole bunch of cast announcements for the film, and actually yesterday, as I'm recording this, we also got another cast member revealed to us, so honestly, seems like me waiting might have been the perfect opportunity. So in today's video, we're going to be going over all the officially revealed cast members for the FNAF movie back in December, and also the brand new one that came out yesterday. But before we do that, I'm going to go back in time a little bit, talk about some earlier recap news with the film, just to make sure we're all on the same page about what part of production the FNAF movie is currently in. So if you're excited for the film, please hit the like button, consider subscribing. If you're brand new, we talk about FNAF news all the gosh dang time, and subscribing is the best way to guarantee you stay up to date with everything happening in FNAF. And now, without further ado, let's jump all the way back to August of last year, where Jason Blum, the head of Blumhouse Productions, the production company behind the FNAF film, tweeted this. It's great to be working with Jim Henson's Creature Shop. Their experience and expertise with animatronics is absolutely killer. And in the attached image, you can see a kind, hard-walking fellow over here producing a costume of Freddy Fazbear. As you can see, his head in the bottom left, you can also see his top hat on the table as well, and of course, there's a mold of a human wearing the costume. Microphone in hand, big round tummy with a bow tie, his ears and feet are also on the table. Now frankly, Jim Henson's Creature Workshop is an absolutely fantastic organization. They've made a lot of very amazing costumes in the past, most notably with Sesame Street, the Muppet movie, the Dark Crystal. Now we don't know if these costumes are for actors to wear in costumes so they can act out the motion of the characters, or if they're going to be actual animatronics, or maybe it's going to be a mix of both. Either way, absolutely incredible to have Jim Henson's Creature Shop on the project. And then later that year in October, we also got news on the director and a couple writers that are going to be working on the film. We got news that Emma Tammy is going to be the director of the FNAF movie. Russell Binder from Stryker Entertainment is going to be an executive producer. And the script is being written by Scott Cawthon, of course, FNAF's creator, Emma Tammy, the director, and Seth Cuddleback. So once again, a whole bunch of announcements happening that year that progress is finally going forward with the film. A whole bunch of names finally attached to the project. And speaking of names, reveal a couple days later exclusively by Geek Vibes Nation was actually three names of characters that are going to be showing up in the FNAF movie. They revealed the male lead of Mike, who's going to be in his mid-20s to early 30s. We have taken a look at these character descriptions in the past, so I'm not going to spend too much time on them, but they will be on screen in case you do want to take a look through them. Another lead, this time of a 10-year-old female named Abby, who's going to be Mike's younger sister. And lastly, for a supporting lead, we have the female in her 20s, Vanessa, which surprised everyone because we do know of a Vanessa in the FNAF universe, of course the one from Security Breach. Is this going to be the same Vanessa we see in that game? Who knows? It seems like with the introduction of Abby being Mike's younger sister, who usually Elizabeth takes that role, at least in the FNAF games, it does seem like, at least for the movie, this is going to start a brand new timeline or a brand new universe. And now let's finally move on to some of the official actors who got revealed for the film. On December 16th, Coincidentally, the anniversary of Security Breach. Deadline reported that Matthew Lillard and Josh Hutcherson are going to be joining the cast of the upcoming film. We're going to come back to them in just a little bit, but first, let's touch upon what happened the next day on December 17th. Because our good pal, Louis Dockos Games Dawkins, did what he does best, hosted a phenomenal charity stream. And during that stream, none other than Scott Cawthon himself popped in, saying, check your email, I sent you some donation incentives to use. And god dang, bro, he wasn't lying, because he supplied Daco with four new cast announcements for the film. First up is Mary Stewart Masterson, who's going to be playing an unnamed villain. Now, unfortunately, at least from my research, I couldn't find too many projects that I recognize that Mary's been in. I did recognize Law & Order Special Victims Unit, as well as NCIS. Looks like she's also recently been a main role in For Life. But what's interesting is that she's an unnamed villain. A lot of people are speculating could be Vanessa, but as we're going to see later on in this video, that's not quite the case. Some other people thought maybe she's voicing Chica or another female animatronic that could be attacking the main character. I think that's unlikely just based on the other actors and roles we got announced during this, you know, set of announcements. I think it's more likely maybe she's going to be like an angry manager at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Or maybe she's going to be an accomplice of William Afton. Again, seems like this film's going to be set in a different universe that utilizes some 
you know, characters we know, but also, of course, some brand new ones like this unnamed villain and Abby and bringing in Vanessa. So it could be a totally new character that we don't know anything about, but I'd love to know your theories. Who do you think Mary is going to be playing? The second cast announcement on Daco stream was that Piper Rubio has been cast as Mike's younger sister, Abby. Once again, unfortunately, I wasn't too familiar with some of Piper's projects, but I did see on her IMDb page some images of her in Holly and Ivy, and it looks like she actually played one of the main leads of Ivy. Once again, another mysterious character. Seems like it's going to be a twist on Elizabeth, but I guess this film's version of Elizabeth. I'm not sure. Once again, I'd love to know what do you guys think about this new role of Abby, this brand new character of Abby? How do you feel about her possibly being this film's stand-in for Elizabeth and not actually having Elizabeth in the film? The third cast announcement is the one we've all been waiting for. Matthew Lillard cast as William Afton. There's been so many memes since this announcement. I'm sure I don't need to explain who Matthew Lillard is, but just in case you don't know, if you're worried about him playing a sick and twisted serial killer, well, don't worry, because he had the incredible role of Stu Mocker in the original Scream, and he absolutely killed it, I swear. If you're worried about him being William Afton, just go look at some clips of him in that film. He absolutely nails the role. I am not worried in the slightest. I think this is probably, now that I'm thinking about it, probably the perfect cast they could have had for William. Though when Matthew is not going out and, you know, stabbing a whole bunch of teenagers, he's playing Shaggy in the live-action Scooby-Doo films in the early 2000s, and he's also voicing Shaggy to this day. And just like the other cast members, I'd love to know, what do you think about Shaggy being William Afton? And the fourth and final cast announcement we got on Daco's charity stream back in December was Josh Hutcherson is going to be playing Mike Schmidt. Josh has been in a whole bunch of stuff. You may recognize him as PETA in The Hunger Games. Most recently, it looks like Josh has starred in the film adaptation of Across the River and Into the Trees. And I'm just going to keep saying it. Once again, another phenomenal casting. I can perfectly see him playing Michael in my eyes now. And now we come to today, the most recent cast announcement that got revealed yesterday, and that is who's going to be playing Vanessa. And actually, somehow coming full circle, the people that revealed this information was Geek Vibes Nation. And they have reported that Elizabeth Lale has been cast as Vanessa, who's going to be a police officer in this film. And I spent so long looking at this picture, and I was like, wait, why did I recognize her face? She's Quinn Harris in Countdown. So she's already had plenty of experience with horror films, which is pretty exciting. She also played Beck in You, which is a pretty recent TV series, Once Upon a Time as well. And once again, I'm sad over here thinking, oh my God, they've nailed another actor. Just look at Vanessa right next to Elizabeth. They look practically identical if Vanessa was in real life. So Blumhouse, huge congratulations on nailing some absolutely phenomenal actors for this film. And of course, right as I'm editing this video, Geek Vibes Nation, has released yet another tweet, this time claiming that they've heard rumors that Cat Connor Sterling has been cast as Max in the upcoming FNAF film. Seems like she's most well known as her role as Presley in the Netflix 2021 teen faith-based romantic musical film, A Week Away. And yes, I did just read that off her Netflix Wikipedia page. Now, this isn't confirmed, uh, though on her TikTok she has mentioned several times that she's leaving very, very soon to film a movie. Coincidentally, this lines up when the FNAF movie is filming, so I think it's pretty likely she's been cast in the film. Who this Max character is seems like yet another brand new character being introduced for this film's universe. Seems like people's walking theory right now is that she might be Mike's main love interest if he does have a love interest in the film. There's no evidence behind that. I think people are mostly just saying that because they don't want Vanessa to be Mike's love interest. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see, but tell me what are your thoughts about this brand new Max character? And finally, to close off all of the revealed cast members, I do want to throw out this extra piece of information. On Daco's charity stream, Scott Cawthon did donate $10,000 under the name Phone Guy. There are some people speculating that he used that name because he's going to make a Easter egg appearance as Phone Guy. But of course, that's not confirmed. Don't take my word for it. I'm just going to spitball here. I feel like that would just be perfect. So once again, not confirmed, but I thought it was interesting. A few people were speculating that. What do you guys think? Would you like to see Scott Cawthon make an appearance in the film as 
as Phone Guy or maybe just as another character. Back in December, it was also revealed when the film's gonna be filming, actually. Under the production name Bad Cupcake, it's gonna begin filming on February 1st and wrap up filming on the 6th of April. It's gonna be shooting in New Orleans. We already knew about that, but once again, if you don't know this information, just figured I'd throw it in here. So hopefully, maybe around the middle of this year, we can see a few teasers, maybe even a trailer, a couple set photos would be awesome. I'm just super excited we're finally, finally getting some real damn good progress with this film. May who knows, maybe it'll actually release. Well, that's gonna do it for this FNAF Movie News update video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.